Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. McAdams and Caleb. So we're going on a Q scavenger hunt around our house to find things that start with Q. So Mrs. McAdams will be behind the camera and Caleb will be in front of the camera helping us find stuff that starts with Q. Here is a very interesting thing though that does not start with a Q, but here's Mrs. McAdams talked a lot about the big pile of stuffed animals in Caleb's room. Well, here's that big pile. Oh my goodness, look at it. And if you look underneath this dog, there are more and more and more animals everywhere. I know lots of you have lots of stuffed animals as well. All right, so we're finding things that start with Q, which is the qu sound, especially when it starts or when it's followed by U, which it normally is. So Caleb, let's tell them what we found in your room. So what we found in my room was a question mark. Perfect. And that was drawn by the duck that says quack. Perfect. Two good words, question mark and quack. All right, perfect. Let's go out here and see what we find next. All right, so today Mrs. McAdams started a new read aloud about a girl named Ramona. And the next book we read about Ramona, here she is. And if you notice, here's the tag on her desk, Ramona. And what is that? It's a Q. That's right. Her last name is Quimby. And she likes to make her Q into a cute little kitty cat with tails and whiskers. So we'll learn more about Ramona Q and all the mischief she gets into. And Mrs. McAdams has a whole bunch of these books to read. So they're super fun. So check out that read aloud. It's on YouTube. All right. Next, we're going to go into our guest room. So here we go. We follow Caleb. Dun, 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 dun. All right, on the bed in here is something that starts with a Q. This is quilt. This is a quilt, that's right. Quilt, Q-U-I-L-T. So there is a quilt on this bed. This is our bed where when guests come, they sleep here in this spot. Oh, and there's Caleb's earphones. He's gonna grab those and we're gonna head, oh, actually back to his room for a second. There's something on his door. Oh yeah. That we wanted to show you that starts with Q. Here we go. Almost forgot. All right. So this is a man named Ben Roethlisberger. And if you like the Steelers, he plays a position on the team that starts with Q. Caleb, what is that position? Quarterback. Quarterback. That's right. So Big Ben is the quarterback of the team, starting with a Q. Perfect. All right. Where's Caleb? Let's find him. Great, now we're gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna to remember to turn the light off. Remember when we talked about doing things on Earth Day to help conserve energy and not be wasteful. By the way, boys and girls, that's that closet I always talk about that has all the fun craft stuff in it. Yeah, there's all that fun craft stuff that I get into when I'm making things for school. So, all right, on our way downstairs. Q, Q, here's some funny pictures. <gasps> Look at these here. Isn't this one fun? There's Noah and Caleb sharks on their heads. I think I've shown you guys that one before. That's fun. And then we always talk about these two, right? Oh, there's Caleb when he was little. He had Elmo slippers on. You can't tell, but these were red Elmo slippers. And of course, Noah oh, with his tongue sticking out and his hair all floppy. Super cute. All right, anyway, down we go. Okay. So next, we will go. I have a question. Oh, what's yes. in these bags? Oh, actually, I'm not going to tell you the answer to that because it is something for you guys, boys and girls, that Miss Murray dropped off. So the next time we have a pickup, there's going to be a special something in there for a special project you're going to do. So good question, Caleb. That's going to be a surprise that we'll find out about later. Good question. Okay, so we're gonna go in the kitchen next and see there are a few Q items in our kitchen. The first one I found in the cupboard was this one. This is a bag of quinoa is how it's pronounced, quinoa. But you see the Q-U right here, Q, little tail on it, U. So we don't say quinoa, we say quinoa is how it's pronounced, but it does have the Q there, Q U. I-N-O-A, and it's like a type of grain that you eat, a little bit like rice, kind of like that. It tastes very good. And then in here, speaking of things that we eat in our refrigerator, 
we have some liquids in here. We have some cream and some buttermilk. And down at the very bottom, do you see the word right there? One quart, that's right, Q-U-A-R-T. And same thing right here, one quart of buttermilk. So there's lots of things in your fridge, if they're liquids, that might be measured in quarts. So you can check out your fridge and see. All right, Caleb, let's go over to the counter. Now when Mr. McAdams comes home each day from work and he empties out the change in his pocket, he often has a whole bunch of these. What are these? Quarters. Quarters, yes, they're worth 25 cents. And here you can see the fronts and the backs are a little bit different. They call this side of the quarter heads, heads yep. And this side, tails. So if you're flipping a quarter, we would call it and say, what do you think? heads. Okay, it's gonna flip it, turn it over. It was heads. It was heads, good for us, we picked the right side. So four of these together make one dollar. It's the same amount, four quarters makes a dollar. So that's our quarter. And then finally, we have one more thing. This belongs to Caleb. Now he does a lot of these in school. Caleb, what is this? It's a quiz. This is a quiz. Right? And quiz starts with Q-U-I-Z. It can be a quiz or a test. Now, a quiz is like a smaller test. It's not as big as a regular test. Or a quest. Or, yes, or a quest, if you want to call it that. Now, Caleb got a very good grade, 95%. That's an A. This was a math quiz, and math is definitely one of his favorite subjects. Yes. So, let me check my list and make sure. So, that's all the key. Oh, we have one more. Hmm. We've got to go back upstairs into the game room. We have one more. Okay, we're gonna go fast, ready? Here we go. I remembered it when we went up the stairs and then forgot when I got up there. So upstairs, oh, follow my feet. Here we go. Oh, there's your surprise again, no peeking. All right, we go upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. Here we go, here we go. Oh, there's those funny pictures again. Oh, there they are. All right, now we're gonna come in here you probably remember coming in here back in the beginning when Mrs. McAdams used to show you some things with Legos. We've cleaned all the Legos up. But we have a game closet in here, and there is a game in this closet. Let's see if Caleb can pull it out. Back there on the shelf, it starts with a Q. On the right there, underneath the puzzle, right over there. Yep. Also. Oh, good. We had more. So this game is called Sequence. Doesn't start with a Q, but you can see the Q-U right there. Sequence. And this game over here is called Corridor. And it's about making uh, little pathways to try to get through. Lowercase Q. Normally that would have a little tail on it. And a U there. So Corridor. So we found two Qs up here in our game closet. It's a little messy up here. I think we need to clean up here. That'll be our next job. We have job. another one downstairs. I pulled up a picture of quartz. Oh, a picture of quartz. That's one of the things that was in our tub. One of the rocks that we, or minerals that we talked about that was quartz. So, awesome. All right, so everybody say thanks to Caleb. Thanks, Caleb. So, I will see you all tomorrow. Some of you for Zoom. Take a look around your house. Find those cute objects. Send me the video or the pictures. Bye, boys and girls.